Good Tuesday morning, everybody. This is Michelle Mead once again with the National Weather Service in Sacramento, and I wanted to give you an update on the storm that's going to be impacting interior Northern California over the next 48 hours. This is the latest satellite image of the storm as it's making its way into the Pacific Northwest and eventually through interior Northern California. A very significant storm for the very low snow levels we're going to have, which is going to cause very hazardous mountain travel slow commuting here in the valley today and tomorrow and strong winds which will, will create whiteout travel conditions in the mountains here's a quick look at the timeline we have today like i mentioned if you look outside you think things aren't too bad however they will be deteriorating quite quickly from noon onward we are going to see uh, rain and snow developing uh, in the late morning all the way through tomorrow. The brunt of the storm is uh, going to hit the mountains from about 2 this afternoon all the way through the day Wednesday. But the strongest uh, winds and snow are basically going to be from 4 p.m. tonight through 10 p.m. During the day on Thanksgiving, the valley will see clearing conditions. However, showers and isolated thunderstorms are going to continue. Uh, in the foothills and mountains. Friday things will be drying out but it will be quite cold um, so if you have outdoor plans make sure you are uh, dressed appropriately. And then keep an eye on the forecast because we are looking at another potential storm for this weekend mostly Saturday night and Sunday so if you were thinking about coming back over the mountains on Sunday you might want to move that up to Saturday. Here's a quick look at the precipitation timing as uh, things are moving in. Again, this is a forecast model. As you can see, the green indicates the rainfall and the blue indicates the snow. Uh, we, if you watch, you can see the blue slowly coming down uh, the mountains as that colder air gets filtered in. Uh, you can see we have quite a few showers this afternoon and evening impacting the valley, um, especially during rush hour, so try to get on the roads sooner than later. Also in Redding, we do have a cold pool of air up here this morning, so it's showing as rain, but I do have a feeling it's going to start as snow, and then when those south winds kick up, it may transfer back to rain and then back to snow late tonight as those winds deteriorate, or sorry, decrease. So here's a look at the snowfall forecast again from today through Thursday. Everything we've already talked about, very dangerous travel, chain controls, winds are going to cause uh, potential power outages from down trees and branches, and then those snow levels are going to be falling quite significantly um, throughout the day today. Here's a closer look at the Redding, uh, Northern Sacramento Valley Redding area. I wanted to highlight the potential here where it's going to be very messy uh, over the next 24 hours with the snow, rain, snow potential. So this Redding is kind of our best guess right now, and it could be one of those things where you see a quick inch or two this morning, then it melts off, and then another inch or two tonight. So um, if you're traveling up the I-5 corridor, keep in mind it's going to get quite nasty as you head north through the day today, and then up in the northern Sacramento Valley as well. <clears throat> so this is what the winter storm warning area looks like. You can see it's pretty low, about 2,000 feet, encompassing from Lake County all the way to the Sierra foothills. Again, from today through Thursday, with the uh, greatest impact this afternoon and evening through the day on Wednesday. This is a look at those winds I was telling you about. You can see a good chunk of the valley this afternoon is going to see 50 to 60 mile an hour wind gusts um, through the valley. So if you are traveling south, you're going to have quite a headwind to deal with. And if you're traveling north, it'll give you a bit of a push. However, if you're in the mountains, you'll see we have some gusts here up to 60, 70, even some 80s up there. So it's going to be very hazardous. That combined with the snow is going to create whiteout conditions. So increased potential for accidents and delays across Highway 80, 50, and 88. This is a, just a look at where we've got the wind advisory out. Again, making sure we've got loose objects uh, tied down if we can and then of course we're worried about any uh, trees and branches. We do still have quite a bit of leaves on the trees so any locations that get snow on top of that there is a increased potential for uh, limbs breaking and potential power outages. So just some reminders if you're heading to the mountains please do so this morning and be in your de destination before two o'clock because then things are going to get really bad. Uh, we're going to see quite a uh, bit of snow, obviously in measuring in the feet, 
Obviously those winds are going to cause whiteout conditions and if you do travel, which we advise against, make sure you have your emergency travel kit with you including extra food, clothing, shovels, boots, and of course you have to have your chains if you're heading into the mountains. Now we're going to transition to Wednesday and what we're looking for in the valley. You can see all of interior Northern California has the potential for general thunderstorms tomorrow and with this cold system we're really the main impact we would be looking out for is this accumulating small hail. So in the valley, it might look like snow, but it's probably just accumulated small hail. And of course, we're going to have brief heavy rain. And if there are leaves that were not picked up in your streets, that'll clog any drains and you could have some localized street flooding. And then of course, gusty winds. Thursday, it looks like the potential may linger along the foothills and the mountains, mainly along and south of I-80, but they are potential anywhere of, um, in the southern Sacramento Valley in San Joaquin. So it is an unsettled period from now all the way through Thursday. And like I mentioned, Thursday night, things really quiet down. We lose most of our precipitation chances, and that's going to allow the temperatures to really plummet. You can see we have lows well into the mid-20s and even in the single digits with all that fresh snow in the mountains and even down here in the valley. So there are, is a potential for freeze and uh, hard freeze warnings. And then Friday we aren't going to warm up that much, definitely in the 40s. So just some reminders about cold weather safety. Make sure you're dressing in layers. If you don't have to be outside, don't be outside. And of course, don't forget our peas, our, pence, our pets, plants, pipes, and of course our people. So in summary, we're still watching the significant winter storm moving into the area today. Major mountain travel impacts. Again, get out there this morning if you can, and if you can't, maybe just stay home for this Thanksgiving holiday or go Thanksgiving morning. Rain in the valley today, and then showers and thunderstorms tomorrow and Thursday. And always check the roads before you go at Caltrans Quick Maps or by dialing their 1-800 number. And keep up on the latest forecast at weather.gov slash Sacramento. And we will be posting on Facebook and Twitter throughout this week as this storm moves through the area. Again, thank you very much for listening. Be safe out there and have a happy and safe Thanksgiving holiday.